good day. So, long time no see, Tadrina. So, it's been a while since the last time that we had a tutorial. So, I'd like to welcome you all to another tutorial in one of the topics of mathematics in the modern world. So, this is under the third section, which is problem solving. And I will be focusing on inductive reasoning. So, if you'd like to learn something, keep watching. So welcome to problem solving. So there are actually two types of reasoning. So we have the inductive reasoning and the deductive reasoning. So again, my focus for today's tutorial is on inductive reasoning. So for today's video, you will learn the following. First, we have the basic concepts of problem solving. Second, we have the definition of inductive reasoning. Third, the use of inductive reasoning to predict a number. The use of inductive reasoning to make a conjecture. And the use of counterexamples to verify a statement. Okay, so here are the basic concepts of problem solving. So what is a problem? So undeniably, whether we like it or not, we always experience problems even in our daily lives okay so problem is a statement that requires a solution now that solution can be a mathematical operation or a geometric construction next we have the problem solving so what is problem solving okay so problem solving is a process it is an ongoing activity wherein your knowledge shall be used to discover a new knowledge okay so that is problem solving so we have different components of problem solving so we have three so the first one is the method of course the strategies and techniques that you use to solve a problem and then we have the answer of course muna siya ang results sa methods name ng gamit and the solution, the combination of method and answer. So with these components, we can create a formula, a basic formula in solving a problem. So these three should go hand in hand. So the formula should go as method plus answer is equal to the solution. Okay, so let us now move to inductive reasoning. So what is inductive reasoning, man, by the way? Okay, so this is the process of reaching a general conclusion by examining specific examples. Okay, so again, ang inductive reasoning ako no, is ang pamaagi nga pag-generate o conclusion inaagi sa pag-hatag o mga specific na examples. Now, this general conclusion is called a conjecture. And a conjecture is a statement that can be true or false. So later on, we will know how to verify whether a conjecture is true or false. Okay? So, unsaon man nato mampagkuha sa general conclusion? It is by stating or listing series of observations. So, given a situation, so mag-observe ka ang sa inyong nakita, situation, then you list your observations. After that, you create a general conclusion or a conjecture. Now, we have several situations wherein inductive reasoning is very useful. So, first we have in predicting a number. Okay, so this happens um, usually kung naatay a uh, series of numbers especially kung naasiyay pattern. So, magamit tayo na itong ang conductor okay, So, let's have the first example. We have the number series of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30, and blank. Okay, so we need to find the missing number using inductive reasoning. So, again, ang sagito inductive reasoning, the process of reaching a general conclusion, which can be verified whether it is true or false by listing some of your observations. So for me, here are my observations in the given example. Okay, so the first, the numbers are multiples of 5. So true, 
10 is divisible by 5, 5 is divisible by 5, and so 30 is divisible by 5. So, kanan sila divisible sila by 5. That is my first observation. Another is that each number is 5 larger than the preceding number. So, kung pasabot, ang sunod nga number, muragi plasan lang siya 5. Ana. So, after ka nag-add 5, add another 5 for the next number and add another 5 for the next number. Then, I have the third observation. The difference between any two succeeding numbers is 5. So, example, 10 minus 5 is 5, 15 minus 10 is 5, 20 minus 15 is 5. So, we have a common difference. So, given that series of observations, I could say that the missing number is 35. So, again, that is the conjecture or that is the conclusion that I have. Okay? So, we have another example. So, let's have example number two with this another series of numbers or sequence. So, we have 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, and blank. Okay, so again, we need to find the missing number. Since we are to predict a number using inductive reasoning. So, I will uh, show you my observations. So, first, I observe that, that the difference between 3 and 1 is 2. The difference between 6 and 3 is 3. The difference between 10 and 6 is 4. So, sa akong nakita din ani, ang difference sa preceding numbers is kana ang nagsunod siya. No? So, 2 ang first nga difference, 3 ang sunod nga difference, 4 ang sunod nga difference. So, it seems that the difference between any two succeeding numbers is always one more than the preceding difference. So, pa sa but, ang difference sa duha ka nagsunod nga number is plus one ra sa previous nga difference sa duha ka nagsunod nga number. So, with that given series of observations, I could say that the missing number is 28. So, that is the conclusion or the conjecture that I have made. Okay, so another situation wherein we can use inductive reasoning is making conjectures. So, we predict uh, a number and then now uh, we predict another conclusion in making a conjecture. Okay, so let's have the first example. So we have the following situations. The absolute value of 1 is equal to positive 1. The absolute value of 100 is equal to 100. And the absolute value of negative 25 is equal to 25. So, based on the uh, situations, I could say that uh, absolute value sa sa isang number is positive. Okay? So, I should say that for all numbers x, the absolute value of x is greater than 0. That's the first conjecture. Now, remember that a conjecture is a statement that is either true or false. So, wala pat kabalo kung ang ako ang conjecture din haani na the absolute value of x is greater than 0 for all numbers x. Okay? So, let it be. That's my conjecture. Can't do anything about it. Okay? So, let's have the next example. So, we have the situations. 2 squared is greater than 2. So, true naman sa na na siguro. Okay? 2 squared is equal to 4, and 4 is greater than 2. Okay, another. 10 squared is greater than 10. So, another statement that is true. No? So, 100 is greater than 10. And we also have negative 5 squared is greater than 5. So, another true statement because negative 5 squared is equal to positive 25, and 25 is greater than 5. So, ang ako pong nagsabutan din na nga example is that ang square sa bisag sa nga number is mas dako pa sa original na number. Okay? So, this is my conjecture. For all numbers x, x squared is greater than x. So, again, we have the reminder, conjectures can be true or false. Now, unsaon mga to na siya pag-prove or pag-verify na ang conjecture is um, true or false. Na ang statement is true or false. Okay. 
there are several statements that can be true for uh, several cases, but na ay isa ka case nga makapa for sa iyaha. Now move to the counter example. So moni ang trabaho ni counter example. Iyahang e verify kung ang statement na to is true ba or false. Okay. So what is a counter example? This is a statement that would make an argument false by giving an example. So ang iyahang yung main goal ani is kita o gigil. Ganun. No? So imbis nga na true na ang statement in several cases. Mangita git siya isa lang yung ka case na false para mapatunayan niya nga dili ito as siya pinood nga statement. Okay, so counter example is also known as a contradictory example. So mo contradict siya. Mo atag siya example na mo contradict sa ato ang statement. Okay? So let's have the examples. Verify each of the following statements if false by finding a counter example. Okay, so we have statement letter A. So for all numbers x, the absolute value of x is greater than 0. So familiar ba siya? Nga statement, no? So that was the conjecture I made earlier. So dili na itong mabalaan ko. True, but totoo siya in all cases. Okay, so if x is equal to 1, then the absolute value of 1 is greater than 0. So true na na siya ng statement. Okay, so if x is equal to negative 1, then the absolute value of negative 1 is greater than 0. So, again, true na naa siya nga statement. However, if x is equal to 0, then true pa ba na ang absolute value sa atoang 0 is greater than 0? So, diha na din na bikil ang atoang conjecture. The statement is false. So, therefore, the statement in letter A is false. Okay, so ina na lang kadali. Mangita lang siya isa ka example ng mga kapa false statement. Then, wala na din polos itong mga statement niya na true or nakapa true sa statement. Okay? So, let's have another example. This letter B. So, for all numbers x, we have x squared is greater than x. Okay? So, let's have um, examples. No? So, if x is equal to 2, then 2 squared is greater than 2. So, that is true. Okay, 4 is greater than 2 man Okay? Another, if x is equal to 5, then 5 squared is greater than 5. So, another statement na true. However, ayan na naman. If x is equal to 1, then true pa ba na ang 1 squared is greater than 1? So, nabikil na po dayon ang aduang conjecture. The statement is false. So therefore, the statement in letter B is false. Okay? So that's all for counterexamples. And I believe I have covered already the objectives of this tutorial. So I hope that you have learned something. So I guess that ends this tutorial. So I hope that you have learned something. And thank you so much for watching. Keep safe everyone. Bye!